when you come in because we're gonna be going live so i'm gonna mute the sound for a little bit so we're just getting in prep, um, prep mode i'm getting everybody time to be able to get in here this is mr key he's here too we're gonna be with um andrew receipts in a few with real online network so see you guys in a few don't go nowhere so don't she go just nowhere. gonna mute it real quick mm -hmm. just gonna mute it
Hey, Lole, how are you? Oh, yeah, I know. It's no sound. Um, we are about to get ready to do an interview with um, the creator of Reese's Candy, grandson and, and his family, um, to learn, you know, more about the family and, you know, the creation behind Reese's. I would love for you to stay on and chime in and hear some of the conversation. Um, hope you're doing good. I just have it on mute because I'm um, getting ready and prepared and getting everything set up. Hope your week been doing good. Happy you tuned in. Do you like Reese's? Because this is what we're going to be talking about. We're going to learn more about the man behind Reese's. <laughs> I like to know who's behind them because it's my favorite candy. So um, I'm excited you're here. I'm just getting set up. You know me, I be getting set up. I'm great. I am blessed. I am great, you know. Just taking this thing, you know, the vibrations and the house type vibes one day at a time. Enjoying it with grace. You don't like pe peanut butter? I love peanut butter. Yes. With the chocolate at least. <laughs> I grew up off those peanut butter jelly sandwiches. <laughs> she said she don't like peanut butter? No, she don't like peanut butter really. Yeah. She say not really. That's not like at all. Peanut butter Reese cups? She don't like Reese. I mean peanut butter. Wow. Really? It's all it's good. One of a kind. No, a lot of people don't like it. And you know, everybody's different. You like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? <laughs> And this is Mr. Key with Real Online Network. This is who I'm going to be co-hosting today with to do. And just hold on tight. Yeah, he like chocolate. Hold on tight. I'm trying to get this thing over to the guy, um, Andrew. So hold on one second. Yeah, he's in the group chat. Okay. Hold on. going to pause it for a quick second and then I'll be back. Hold on.
Okay, guys, we're getting started up here. Lole, everybody that's in here, getting started up. Just, you know, getting Andrew in here. Appreciate everybody that's tuning in. We're about to start the show. So we'll get, you know, we're gonna pay both cameras attention. But uh, we're about to get it popping. This is our main camera, the interview person. Yeah, and then we're gonna show you guys the interview person too. Um actually tell them the link they can go to. But we'd rather you stay tuned here. But if you want to chat and you want to go to Facebook, you can tell them the site is on. I'll put it in the chat. I don't have to see yeah, you guys. I can just put it in the chat. Real Online Network. Facebook.com forward slash Real Online Network. He said he will sit in the waiting room until you are ready. I'm going to put it down below. So I put the link below. Interview with Andrew Reese. Getting started. No light on, but we're getting started. Oh yeah, I'm glad you said that. I don't know how to cut the light. You just push that little button. I tried. We're live on Facebook, Real Online Network. Hello. What's popping, everyone? I'm about to share this on my wall. And, uh, we're going to get this 
show started, we have a very, very, very interesting show tonight. Because tonight is going to be very legendary and very informative. Yes, very, very. I'm excited. You excited? Yes. You should be because you, you you have a lot of stories that go along right along with this, right? Like <laughs> you have. I want to hear. You know, I, I'm not going to spill the beans before we get popping. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna be right. <laughs> spill the beans. Okay. Yeah. You guys, I am really excited about this interview, and um, we're about to get started. I appreciate everyone's patience. Yeah, because um, is this your first interview with me? Yes, it's my first interview, and I thank you, Real Online Network, for having me as a co-host today. Right. And you are welcome. And I'm Ricky Jackson, by the way, if people who are watching don't know. Yeah, because we're on multiple feeds, everybody, and... Everybody may not know who you are, right? Even though they should. And this is Mr. Key. Right. Well, they know who I am. Everybody knows who I am. Mm-hmm. Right? And not tell somebody. I'm Mr. Key. <laughs> A.K.A. Ron. A.K.A. Chocolate. Oh, sexy chocolate. <laughs> you think I'm sexy chocolate? Not like Reese's chocolate. Okay, well, it's just because you're brown, I mean, you peanut butter. <laughs> but, uh, okay, y'all, we are live. I shared it, and I'm going to give y'all some direct attention because I know you like you're not even looking at the camera. We are. And that's we're because trying to hear everything. we are making sure that we capture this historical moment. <laughs> Please like and share this. If, yeah, you know, even if you do it later, you know what I'm saying? But either way, this information is going to be dope. So share it on your Facebook page right now. Share it. Just share it. Share it in the messenger. Do all of that, please, because this show is going to be uh, very, very historical. I mean, this is going to go Epic. down. Yeah, this is going to go down as the largest, greatest podcast ever to exist in the entire world because nobody in the entire world can do it like me. (laughs) (laughs) Every key. I just wanted to add that, you know, I got to put my two cents up in there. Um, Yeah, so so we can go ahead and tell y'all because the title tells y'all who we got. We got Andrew Reese's coming to the table for the interview Mm -hmm. and for those that don't know I'll just give you a hint Mm. I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this cinematic too (laughs) watch this watch this Steven Spielberg intro (laughs) my favorite candy yay This is my favorite candy, you guys. And how we gonna start off is when I do record music and stuff, I always gotta have Reese's before I go in there and drop it. I don't know. It just gives me confidence. You wanna open them now? She'll just get started, y'all. She's already done. Yeah, don't ever give me any Reese's and think I'm not gonna open them. She's on Instagram too over here, y'all. That look at y'all, look at her, yo. I'm eating one for everybody. She's eating the props and we ain't even started yet. Alrighty, this is one for you guys, virtually, and then one for me. It's actually more than one. These are Reese's Pieces. Yo, I used to go to school, and I used to put these in my pocket, and I'd be in class trying to eat them, and they'd just be melting, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be trying to get them in my mouth beforehand, and then, you know, the teacher like, Mr. Key, you ever eat Reese's Pieces? I'm like, no. Got it all over my hands, all over my mouth. It's you know crazy, yo. But these are these are these is different. These aren't the, these ain't the Reese cups. These are the pieces. I like all of them though. Reese cups are my favorite. Yeah, no, for real, we be fighting over them. <laughs> we be in the studio, y'all, and for some reason the uh, 
Reese's, it gives us the. We, we be like we can't. The start adrenaline. Working it gives me the Reese's. adrenaline that I need. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Real. So. Like it's yeah. Red Bull or something, right? It is. I'm sorry, it's an addiction. Can't keep waiting. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna bring him on. He, you know, the show starts at eight. I want to make sure that we're giving him, you know, proper time. I know, yes. you know what I mean? I'm, I'm giving the audience a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying? And I'm giving people a little time to share it. You, they, we, they can hear us over there? Yes, everybody can hear me over here just fine. And what, what's up, you two? I appreciate y'all, you know, supporting Ricky, your path and whatnot, chiming in for her first co-host. She's going to end up trying to take over the show. You know I what promise saying? you guys, I'm gonna be good. She's gonna take over the show. You know what I mean? And it's cool because, you know. I'm letting she Andrew take over the show today. Okay, okay. I'm with that. I'm with that. Okay. So, um, let me get these. Let me share a little bit more information over here. And then we're gonna. Get it going, yo. We're going to get it going. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Okay, y'all. I'm so excited. I don't even start eating my candy yet because I'm not trying to get hyper. I'm just, you know, trying to keep the energy going. I hope everybody's had a blessed week so far. This is the Real Online Network where we keep it real. We bring real stories. We like to support the real. People that really are making a difference in the world. And just, you know, spreading that light and love energy, you know? Yep. And um, I'm excited because I'm a co-host today and I like to be the and co-host. Camera. I love the camera ever since I was a kid, so. Yeah. You um, you look well on camera. You look good. Thank as, you. As, as one of my uh, mentors told me, you clean up well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaner than a boy to hell. I'm just joking. But yeah, for real. I really appreciate you having me on Real Online Network because I don't do nothing but deal with the real, so I feel confident about coming up on here. Right. So they they didn't. Nobody that's watching this is like we we not really here to just watch y'all to y'all said this is about uh, bigger things. So let's 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 let them on. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's, let's get to the goodies. Let's get to the goodies. Is <laughs> what I would like to say. We all been in, so. Got a little muted there. Yeah. I don't know. The sound went somewhere. He zooms. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. So I'll mute in and out when I'm not talking. I'll mute so the East Coast mm -hmm. stays on the West. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. No doubt. You, it's very bright where you're at. All that uh, <laughs> bright colors over there. Yes, <laughs> my favorite colors. Yeah. Can you check all that out? Yeah. I got yeah. Is that Woody? It looks like Woody is over there by the Reese's. Yeah, it is. No, well, I can see over here. That's just like a little whiteboard, if you will. Okay. Oh, wow, that's uh, cool. Uh, one of the uh, Reese Racing Team uh, uniforms, that's the pantsuit. Uh, wow. You know, the, my brother has the top half of that. Wow. And you have the uh, bottom? Cool. That's yeah, cool. well, that's only some, some things. Let's see. If I go over this way, you can maybe see my golf bags back there. Oh, that oh is you got nice. the peanut butter oh, chocolate golf bag? <laughs> <laughs> that's bad right there. You 
be going on the golf. You be going on the golf court like that, bro. Like you walk. <laughs> I know they see him coming, like. I did not know they. I did not know they had a candy hall of fame. Wow! 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 Yeah. That is yeah. heavy. What year did he get get inducted in? You say? Uh, I think that was uh, two thousand nine. Okay. Cool. Oh, nice. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I wrote uh, the one book, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups: The Untold Story. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, it was right. a great push then, yeah. Right. So, okay, before we get too far, I my first question is, Can do you think, and if I, I need to show you my muscles, I can, do you think you can beat me up? Well, because you're, you're asking that question because I'm a martial artist, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. People probably on the call have no idea. Uh, yeah, like, no, well, you want to fight? <laughs> Pop, the head. Uh, you know, so I started doing martial arts when I was eight years old. That'd be like 1968 that I started doing martial arts. Oh, wow. And uh, so I've been doing it for quite some time. I've studied all kinds of different styles of martial arts. Nice. Uh, but, you know, what, that's what, 52 years of doing martial arts. Wow. Wow. Mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> that was you know what the funny part of this is? Mm. Is uh, do you know what a moniker is? No. What I go by? No. The candy man. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. The candy man. Why would I call myself the candy man? Because life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. But all my techniques. <laughs> 
Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold on. That's so your martial this is deep. So your martial art techniques, is that what yeah. you mean? You named them after yeah. candy bars? Oh yes, absolutely. So okay, let's let's see. Let me try to guess. Let me see. Like like you mean like Kit Kat? Twi well, what, what I mean? should say is uh, let's say I don't necessarily uh, name my techniques after but what I say to people because I don't want to get anybody get mad at me that I use their candy uh, bar or something. Like that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. But what I would say is that uh, various techniques remind me um, of candy bars. How oh, that? okay. Reminds me of different candy bars. Like okay. you have what would be called the fast break. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Maybe payday. Oh, <laughs> I like that one. Maybe there's a Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Right. <laughs> oh, he said. <laughs> yeah. teach somebody y'all y'all don't hear that butterfingers so <laughs> you can be, yeah you can be taken down by a uh, recent cup or butterfinger <laughs> <laughs> i like that i love that i love, love that. it i love it mm -hmm. great learning oh yeah or whatchamacallit that's what mm -hmm. mine would be my technique would be a whatchamacallit <laughs> you got to teach me how to do the whatchamacallit andrew <laughs> um so I want to get into, I mean, you you came on the page like, um, you know what? <laughs> Let me show you my golf, yeah, yeah the cup, <laughs> the golf bag, the Hall of Fame. Like, I didn't know you was gonna throw blows as soon as you stepped on. I've been doing it already. <laughs> so, Here, just to kind of give you guys an idea. Okay. Oh, this is better than the museum, oh, man. Yes. This is like wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that is that amazing. Is Mind dope. blowing. Uh, uh, yeah. So wow. I'm just going to show you some, some fun dope, dope. This is just one room. <laughs> and the <laughs> right. colors are just so perfect. You know, I just, yeah. every sense, the colors are so perfect. Good yeah, energy like and vibes to the colors, you see. You got a basketball back there, right? I saw a basketball. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That is dope. So, so, how does it feel? I got some of these questions from people wanting me to ask you. You know what I mean? So, see, these, these, some of these questions are coming from people that said ask them this. Mm -hmm. So, here's a question. How does it feel to have such a powerful last name that is known across the world? Like you know your your brand, I put the um, the Reese's thing on my cover, my Facebook cover today, uh -huh. cause everywhere I go in every single store, you guys' name is <laughs> <laughs> is there, and we'll 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 get to the your part of how you know you guys oh, can yeah. make it and whatnot. <laughs> but how does that feel knowing that it's everywhere? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I gotta watch it. So if if you start he stop hearing me go like this, so oh, okay. I know that it's muted on me. Okay. Uh, but uh, okay, so what's the thing I really need about the name? Yeah, it is a very recognized name, right? Uh, right. <laughs> gosh, it's kind of looked at one of those businesses in the world. Like if you were to have the perfect combination or the perfect product, what is the example of that? And, and yeah. they, Right. Uh, I've heard them use it in universities and, and different places. It's like the perfect candy 
solution that can, uh, like even the comedians and stuff will make jokes about, uh, you know, who owns the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Well, the Reese, Reese, that's Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Yeah. Right? You've had cartoon shows that have done spoofs on it and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it does have the brand recognition. And, uh, you know, the candy business is one of those things that uh, when you meet people and you talk about it, it's something that puts a smile on people's faces. Yeah. It's not a negative thing, it's a positive exactly. thing. Exactly. Right. right. And so, but you know, people don't necessarily associate me when I walk into a place. Uh, it's not like I go around and tell them, hey, I'm Andy Reese, <laughs> you know, my, my grandfather did this. Right. But they'll eventually learn it, you know, I, I don't necessarily hide it. Right. Uh, but it was kind of cool growing up. And sometimes you'll get this thing where you walk in and everybody's like, don't show up unless you bring peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could dig that. I could dig so, that. But, In my mind, I was like, yeah, wait we for it, wait for it. it. Yeah. <laughs> no, he got the draws. <laughs> Do they have the bras too? <laughs> I, I, I did see one commercial where this couple came back to the room and uh, uh, they were going, uh, having a good old time and uh, they were wearing something. I wasn't sure quite what it was. <laughs> skip ahead to the dress Mm -hmm. because um, he sent you a dress and y'all she wore the dress to 50 Cent's birthday party yes I did and she she, it was like uh, Cinderella walked in there because everybody else was dressed normal (laughs) and she walks in with the Reese dress on and everybody's looking like where you get that from and you know Somebody was looking pretty hard because somebody stole the dress from me after that. And I don't know who stole it from me, but I missed the dress and I'm going to be looking for another one. But it ain't the same because it was directly from you. But like you told me, material things can always come and go. So don't sweat it. Yeah, well, she was, Andrew, she was so sad. (laughs) Well, I mean, man, I was mad. I was like, man, like trying to find him and whatnot. (laughs) Uh, I, you know, I'm not no investigator or nothing, but I was like, we're going to figure this out. <laughs> we're going to figure this out. What happened now? I'm we over to, it now. Yeah, we over got it. over it. Well, so, so your audience, in case they didn't know, yeah. so, you know, Ricky had this, uh, this um, picture she had posted up on her Facebook page. And, of course, she had reached out to me that she likes peanut butter cups and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So she showed me this doll that, that's an image of her and the doll. Time. It was around her birthday time, yeah. Yeah. It was the best gift ever. <laughs> okay, come back. Okay, so so you guys, that was a new story and with the that was kind of an untold story too. But uh, <laughs> what inspired the untold story, you know, dealing with your family and whatnot. What what made you guys do that? I mean, if that, I feel funny just asking that question, but <laughs> you, you understand what I'm trying to ask? Because, um, of course, just what he did is inspiring enough. Right. But I want to know from your perspective, you know, how did that unfold? Yeah, so, you know, obviously, you know, like earlier question, mm-hmm. what was it like growing up? 
Yeah, can you? Yeah, tell us, tell us a little bit about that. What do you mean he wasn't born with a silver spoon? Because back then they delivered milk and stuff. Milk was a high commodity. Yes, and that, yeah. like it was a cash business, right? right. So that was, yeah. was a, a quick way to get cash uh, during those months when you didn't have the crops. Okay. Oh, that is everybody cool. kind of helped everybody. You know? That's now, great. In this, in this area, we have this one monument down there that talks about my family relatives. There was over 10,000 family relatives. Ooh. 10,000. <laughs> wow it's a big family so 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 the roots where's the roots from is it from pennsylvania you guys' roots like your family you ever have people say you know they call it reese's some people say reese yeah uh, different ways and how they, well i'll tell you the secret the secret uh, is a welsh name welsh. it was originally spelled Heavy. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. 
heavy, heavy, heavy. So, yeah, because um, I seen the. Uh, oh, Matt, by the way, your brother is in the uh, feed, and he definitely pointed out the underwear. He <laughs> 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 was like, underwear too! <laughs> hey, Brad. Yeah, and he said. Reese's fans love taking photos wearing the official the official Reese's NASCAR racing jacket. He said they love taking pictures in that. Yeah, he, he likes, uh, he goes around Those and jackets are dope. brand on a regular basis and uh, uh, hands out candies and uh, just really has a good time. Um, you know, he can talk at some point, you know, he'll probably respond on a thing there how when he's walking down the road that Yeah, it is. Yeah, that is amazing. That's the key. Put a yeah. smile on it. Give them a, a, a candy as well. It's fun, right? I saw some pictures of yeah. somebody holding the candy with him, um, showing the candy in the picture. Yeah. So, um, for 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 people that are tuning in, because we're we're on Facebook and YouTube, and um, for people that's tuning in watching this. Tell them the Facebook. Could you tell them the Facebook link so they can know where to follow the untold story and whatnot in the middle? Because I don't want people and then to we'll miss that. Yeah, so, you, know, you can basically go to uh, Amazon and any online bookstore and look for Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the nice. untold story. But I do have a website uh, that is at They can just download it and read it from their tablet. And nice. Right. Nice. Yeah, because I saw the um, I saw that uh, classic picture on the interview that you guys did with the. No, that was the. It was like a manufacturing picture. Oh. It was some ladies. Um, can you tell us about that picture? Um, what was that? That was was that the headquarters. While you do that, while you do that, we're going to be snacking. Like, this is a movie for us, so. Right there, your grandfather and Did you say small? <laughs> well, small, yeah, that's not this, this is small. This is 1922. Okay. Now, understand they lived in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, and the thing that was really amazing is the house was only 1800 square foot, mm -hmm. and you had 11 kids. Wow. My grandfather, my grandmother, they had my grandmother's uh, sister, and then they had two. Wow. So wow. that was at that time, but later on, they ended up having six. 
Wow. Okay. For more than 10 years, for more than 10 years, Reese's Fine Chocolates have been made by this one family. Paracurso, Pennsylvania. Mr. Yeah, wow. so that's, uh, that was the 10 year anniversary uh, of Reese's. Reese's, uh, HP Reese Candy Company, the candy company, HP Reese Candy Company, which was his third company. That was incorporated in 1923. So 10 years later, that's this advertisement. The picture in there, though, was from 1928. And the reason I know it was 1928 is that's the year that my, my uh, father was born. That's my father sitting on my grandfather's lap. I was wondering who that was. Oh. Yeah, that's his twin brother sitting on my grandmother's lap, but he died at eight months oh. of age. Oh. So, uh, my dad was born February, 10 months, to be October 1928. is the year that this picture had to be taken. Right. But that shows uh, all of the kids. And that's a, a pretty neat picture to have all the family members. Yeah, that yeah. is a neat picture. That's legendary. Wow, that's a lot of uh, history. And so you were talking about the factory. So you know, here's some pictures of the factory. Yeah, that's. Oh wow. Uh, and so there's some pictures here, and, and of course, you know, I can put it in big screen mode. Man, no can no no uh no robots, no <laughs> cell phones, mm -hmm. no nothing doing it for you. They end up putting in work. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That makes any sense. So, So it was it was all women working? Oh, well, yeah, men too, but you know, you had women working at the tables, doing the coding, and uh, brushing it over, making sure that you had a certain thickness on there. Taking uh, time. Brother, it time. You see on there, there's my brother. Oh, there's, yeah. There's, yeah. That's, that's, that's Brad, right? Mm hmm. That is Bradley there. That's Brad. Brad. Okay, can you do that again? <laughs> can you do a replay real quick? Let's see that again. Yeah, so here's the uh, fishing lodge back in the day. Okay. They have a porch and everything. Right. And you can see the size of the trees. Right. And this is my cousin Susie, I believe this is who that is. So it was no air conditioner, Brad said, and the chocolate would melt? No, no, back in those days, they didn't really have air conditioning that I know of. And, mm. you know, maybe it was the breeze, right? Uh, but now uh, this is now, in this picture, this was all dorms for the students to stay. Oh, nice. Nice. Brad said, keep your picture while you talk, please. <laughs> That's just like a brother, right? <laughs> Look, your brother's giving you instructions. He's like, hold the picture steady while you're talking. <laughs> yeah, and so now here's pictures of people. Like, uh, there were so many people who would want to go out fishing with them. Wow. And, and all these employees of the company, uh, when they wanted to take vacation, they could go down there to that lodge and stay there for free. They could go out on the boat. I think they charge like a dollar a day, oh. uh, which is not very much money for when you have food, you got used to the boat and all that stuff. So right. uh, there'd be a lot of people on the boat. There'd be people on the dinghy float behind. They would go fishing. Uh, that was pretty cool stuff there. Yeah, that's nice. uh, here's a picture of the boat. It's not like a super big boat, right? Pretty modest, what? humble. That's pretty big uh, with the, and then you got to think of the time, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, y'all can you know. tell they were having a good time. Oh, yes. <laughs> now, uh, now, as far as, like, the, the factory being built, here's some pictures of the factory being built. Oh, oh wow. Here's that was from scratch. Mm. And uh, here you can see the logo. Yep. Nice. Going up on the building. Like, I like, see uh, it right there in the, the back. Building. In November? No, November. Ooh. It was, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it was built in November? Yep. Uh, completed yeah, on November 30th. Completed. 56. Uh, you know, or maybe even sooner than that, but they finished it. It was completed November 30th, 1957. 
Give it up for my birthday month. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> oh. Do not mute the phone now. <laughs> Automation Ooh. allowed the sales of Reese's to double every year. Wow. That's what Brad said? Yes. Okay. Can you hear us? Okay. Brad said he did live long enough to see the start of construction of the new paint. Okay. The new plant. I'm sorry, plant. I'm looking mm -hmm. from your screen. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he said something else. Uh -huh. Social yeah, engineering so, red flags. Well, you know, so I'm a security professional. This is what I do for a living. Okay. <laughs> the good so, stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. So, I'll stop sharing at this point. Okay. okay. Thank you. We appreciate that. that was Man, that was like a, a, a virtual museum just now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like I was in a little uh, documentary I was theater. I over here in like a whole other land. Yeah, the narration <laughs> and everything going. Okay, that was dope. That was super dope. I, I appreciate this so yes. much. I just want you to know that. I, I, I do thought, too. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely, because from... I mean, from the very first start of um, us 
liking the Reese's uh -huh. and, and just being actual fans of Reese's. Like, we're, you got to understand, before we met you, <laughs> we were literally going to the studio and we're like, did you get the Reese's cups? Uh, yeah, I can't record without them. <laughs> we can't record the meal got the Reese's cups. <laughs> so we would stop, go get the Reese's cups before we would start a, a session or record or anything. So... Um, when you actually responded to us on, uh, and, and you started showing Ricky love on the Facebook, man, we was like, was like yo, it don't get no better. This we got, we recording our music. You got the Reese cup popping. And then he sing to blow my mind away. See, I was when getting he to that. Get, yeah, oh, you did. Go there, you fine. Because that's exactly what I was needing to. Singing, you blew my mind away. I was so, like, wow. We thinking it can't get no sweeter. <laughs> and then here you come with Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> So I said, what was that song? What was the Sammy Davis Jr. song? Yeah, it's uh, Candyman. Candyman. Mm -hmm. Candyman. Yeah. yeah, so the thing that uh, that was the first time I really started singing the Reese's Cup and then there was another one, What a Wonderful World by uh, Yeah, you killed that one too. Yeah. And uh, that was my sister's favorite song. She would actually start crying whenever I said Oh, oh yeah. Nice. She's yeah, I was um your karaoke's man. They be off the chain. I was it just it, it threw me for a curve because I didn't know that he was an artist or a tad that talent. I didn't. Yeah, like you can you can sing, man. Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> can't too many people touch uh, Sammy Davis? They'll be scared know, to do right? it because Sammy was known for his impressions and whatnot. You know he could do everybody. Uh, Sammy was like a, a, a ridiculous talent back in the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I do uh, uh, Louis Armstrong, I do it his voice as well. Yeah, yeah, he so, know how to do it. Yeah, he, he's yeah. great. Uh, I'll do uh, uh, Eric Clampton. I'll, you know, I do uh, Brooks and Dunn. I even do uh, Sweet Dreams. I'm into this by the Rhythmics. Oh, okay. Oh. I like that song. Uh, sweet Dreams. Sweet Dreams. You, know, you think yeah. of candy, right? Oh, I, I, you know, I, I, obviously I know what the song is all about. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, it, because it's you know, like Sweet Dreams and I try to make a candy spin off. <laughs> right. Yeah. All that peanut butter, all that peanut butter you ate as a kid, you're going to turn everything into candy. <laughs> like, you know what? This is the karate cup chop. <laughs> yeah, man. Why not, right? Y'all going to have fun with it. You do. Right? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, um, when you were a kid, what did you if, you, if you can remember, growing up, not based on what you do now, but when you, your imagination was just wild, what did you say you wanted to be? Like, what was your, like, when I grow up, I want to, when you were younger? Uh, well, so, like, I, I was talking about how I started doing martial arts when I was eight years old, right? 1968. Right. Oh, he did say eight. Uh, yeah, but, you know, so my, my father had a lot of different businesses. Uh, we actually did a merger of the Reese, H.B. Reese Candy Company with Hershey Foods back in 1963. All right, so... Uh, my father went off and started doing some other ventures. Uh, he did some things up in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Okay. Uh, he built a tower called the Skylon Tower. You ever hear the Skylon Tower? Uh huh. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, so the, the top of it's in the shape of a peanut butter cup. I didn't They're know that. Yeah. I'm talking about it, just keeps boom, boom, wow. boom, boom. Wow. <laughs> this guy told history yeah. here, you know? I... Yeah. So they had over 60 stores in the base. And, uh, he had restaurants. Uh, he had some hotels and various things, hotels. And so, uh, as I was growing up, I had to work in the different candy or the different uh, operations that we had. But I didn't get paid for that. Okay. There's, there's times in our lives where we lived in a one-room efficiency, and we lived in very tight, meager uh, budget, right? Wow. And then there's other times where we we bought this house. Uh, I think we paid like uh, 60 grand, 50, 60 grand for this house. Mm -hmm. uh, and we ended up uh, going in there and building it out and doing whatnot. And uh, by the time we were done, it was about 35,000 square foot home. Oh, wow. wow. Very nice size home with an indoor pool. And, and so, you know, I've kind of, I've lived a life where I've lived in really meager tight means. And then there's other times where it was, you know, pretty neat to be in a big place like that. But I didn't yeah. get paid for the work I did. Now, if I needed money, my dad might give me a couple bucks to go see a movie or whatnot, 
I'll be putting something on the tab and then he take care of them later if I want something to eat. Right. But uh, as far as working, I was kind of expected to go work in the business. And I started out doing security at the Skyline. And I'd be up in the ventilation ducts watching the people down below. I'm not talking about when I was like maybe 14 years old. Uh huh. And so I would be up in the ventilation ducts looking down at people and then I would radio down to people that, hey, I see somebody stealing. <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> so from and, eight and then to fourteen. I got into doing the um, uh, security guard or uh, bodyguard type stuff. Right. Uh, we had a concert hall, mm. and so you had Tiny Tim, you had Chubby Chucker, the Platters, the Stampeders, you wow. had all these people coming in to the concerts, and I would be there helping with security operations. And I remember Chubby Chucker after his one concert, we went back to the dressing room, and there was all these girls outside the door, <laughs> right. and. Uh, He's like, Andy, can you take my shirt off? I need help. <laughs> so he leaned over and I pulled off his shirt. Of course, it was sopping wet. <laughs> all, right. all the girls were screaming outside. He goes, just throw it out to the door for the girls. And that, you know, I've been doing security basically my whole life yeah. at some level. Whether it be physical security, whether it's uh, loss prevention. Uh, and of course, when I went in the Navy, I started learning about computers, mainframes, intelligence, and all these different things. It's, right. So, to the Navy for my career. so you're like a VC warrior, uh, <laughs> and you have a karate from, outfit too that your brother said with Candyman features that he said you should show us as well. Oh, you do? Uh, well, I got all that tucked away. He <laughs> say it's tucked away, Brad. We're gonna, have, so. we're gonna have to do this again. I tried, Brad. I tried. <laughs> yeah, Oh, what? You know, I'm done. I'm good. <laughs> you learn all the muscles. Right. Um, you know, you have to learn everything about the body systems, the, the nerve points, and so forth. So I specialize in, in pressure points okay. and uh, things that you can use. The things that are, I would call them multipliers. It makes it, uh, it enables you to be more effective in your techniques and what you do. And if you can understand the body and how it's made up, necessarily have to think about it so much anymore because your knowledge on it is such that you understand how the body works you, you know how to disassemble Johnny Fox. Is that yeah, hold on you know how to dis you know how to do what was the last part? Well remember the movie Johnny Five? Yeah. Oh yeah, Johnny Five. She don't know about Johnny Five. I do. It's, you know, it's... Just Johnny Bravo. <laughs> she said Johnny Bravo. I'm gonna make her watch Johnny Five just because she you don't know about Johnny Five, huh? I said Bravo. Yeah, see that's why history is important to give her that nostalgia because you got it. Yeah, because if you can um, disadvantage Johnny Five, you bad. So, um, Teaching me a lot already. So, so. <laughs> the musical stylings of, uh, okay, what? Sh okay, so you can't, you don't, you don't have the karate suit. I'm just keeping up with Brad because he's dropping a lot of heavy jewels over he there. He says too. Reese is oh, now the is number one selling candy stuff. brand in <laughs> Canada too. He says yeah, so number one selling brand. Back to farm, says candy man, and then on the front I have the Reese's peanut butter cup. Uh, I have different logos and stuff that I have here. I'll, you know, I can, uh, I'll show the screen again here. here we okay, go. nice. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Brad. We, you know what I'm saying? He's showing us more. And are the martial you. arts fighting in the movies fake? Huh? <laughs> well, they're, they're uh, scripted, right? They're, uh, you know, most of those guys that you see in the movies are actually really, really good martial artists. Oh, okay. Take skill. Yes. Dope. Yeah, never, uh, like I say, uh, just because they're in movies, don't assume that you're just strictly an actor. Uh, and, and there's a lot of people that are probably going, I don't do movies like that. I haven't done any movies. Uh huh. But you know, if, if uh, Hollywood wants to call me up and they want to, I own the rights and everything to the, publicity, the, the rights of publicity for my grandfather. Right. So if, if we want to do a movie about my grandfather, if somebody in Hollywood who is able to do it, let's do a movie. I know. We can involve Hershey Corporation.
generation of Reagan. Right. Do a combination of races and, and Hershey and all that kind of stuff if they, if they would be willing. To do exactly. We need it. Wow. That would be it. dope. Cool right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Think for Hershey. I, you know, uh, I want to make sure that that's clear for everybody right. here. Right. I don't represent the Reese Candy Company. Right. Uh, I I am uh, the grandson of Harry Burnett Reese, you know, who are descendants wow. from the guy who, who started the, the Reese Candy Company. You know, he founded the company and so forth. He had two candy companies before he started the H.P. Reese. He had the R and R Candy Company and the Secure Confectionery Candy Company, which is the one. Uh, what? So there was a lot of different things that he. Right. Were the were the other two companies were they uh, chocolate based candies as well? Uh, yes, they were. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Yeah, they were. And, but they weren't Hershey. They were over in a place called Thomastown, Pennsylvania. Oh. Okay. And uh, so, if anybody was wondering, you know, when I moved back to the area, I actually lived in Thomastown. I did that as a the thing towards my grandpa because that's where he started all of his operations was in Thomastown. Okay. You know, his first. Okay, and in, in, in this in this book, without telling them too much, because um, I want them to read the book, and you know, and I want them to tune into the book for themselves. So I don't want to do no spoiler alerts, but what can they expect from the book? Kenny, hold on, Kenny Rogers and Grand Funk Railroad. What does that mean, Brad? <laughs> Kenny Rogers and Grand Funk Railroad. That must be. Okay. I mean, I do a lot of different songs. I mean, uh, I do a lot of, uh, you know, Three Dog Night. I, you know, I do a lot of different things. And, and my brother does a lot of nostalgia stuff. So he, okay. he does karaoke singing as well. I guess okay. He does awesome. Yeah, I think it's a little time delay on Brad's post. Yeah, maybe. I yeah. don't know. But um, Reese's is now the number one selling candy brand in Canada, too. So... It's international, of course. I think but, the United States, they do something like two billion just on the one brand. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Okay. So I saw him share something this morning about the release, the Reese's release thing. They yeah, helped him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ask him about that. That's a good question. What is it? I, I, didn't, I don't know. You know what's the question? About the release. I saw a post about the um, Reese's, you know, behind the relief. They put the one million. Oh, that was yeah. So uh, basically, when Hershey put a million dollars. Okay, it was Hershey. Okay. Thing. So you know, uh, at first I heard it was Reese's, and then I found out that it was Hershey. You no, know, actually, they're one of the same company. Right. At this point. Okay. Right. Uh, just wanted to make sure that I gave credit where the credit was due, since it wasn't Reese's. I took the Reese one down. Right. So, so what can they expect in the book? Oh, he brought all his chocolate from Hershey's is what Brad was saying. He brought all of his chocolates from Hershey's. He's talking about originally. So, originally, he brought the chocolates from Hershey? Well, so Hershey's biggest two clients was Reese's and the M&M Candy Company, Hershey's and Mars. And what's really kind of neat is if you go to Hershey, Pennsylvania, and you go up to the cemetery for Mount Hershey, you know, everybody sees this great big base on Mount Hershey. Don't realize off to the right is Murray and Mars, and off to the left is the Reese family. Right. <laughs> I mean, they're all right up there as well. But people, you know, they get so focused on Milton Hershey, they don't realize there's two other candy companies represented. <laughs> right. I feel you. <laughs> well, to be honest, and this is no diss to Hershey, because thanks to you know we got this. But to be honest, Hershey doesn't stick in my mind, even though I had some Hershey K Swisses. But Hershey's <laughs> does uh, stick in my mind like the Reese's. No. Reese's is like the name and the color. I just love that. It's more that. brighter and, you know, I don't know. It's just fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has some kind of energy to it. Some kind of, I can't. So in, in the book, I can't explain it, to be honest. Yeah. I just know it, ever since I was a kid and as a grown man, mm -hmm. you know, um, the colors and everything gives me some kind of like you know, and it tastes great. positive energy to I'm addicted. When you walk into a store, you can find it. Is that what you're saying? Yes. You just, uh, right there. You just standing right there. Yep. Oh, there it is. 
Yeah. Even when you're At trying to time. stay away from eating and take a break, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's right there. So, <laughs> so um, when they when they read this book, what are what are, without spoiler alerts, what are they gonna get from it? What are they gonna you know take away from it? So, so, so they, that's not only are they going to get the understanding of history as far as the family, they're going to actually, you guys are going to actually get, you know, like you said, the the whole what was going on during the war times. So kind of what we're dealing with right now, to be right. honest, because to be able to survive that um, and, and to be everywhere now, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's actually amazing. And then, because um, I'm an entrepreneur, she's an entrepreneur. And we're in a digital era, so it's kind of like a digital revolution taking yeah. place, similar to what he went through with the rise of, you know, what he had to get through with the rise of Reese's. So that's going to be dope to be able to put into a, a audio book yes. as far as, and a movie like that. Somebody can learn so much from that. Yes. Especially how to survive. Especially, and then a successful company on top of that from the yeah. ground up built, you know, and all that. That's, that's definitely a... Yeah. a, a yeah, there was a time there where he used to take the, the peanut butter and he was in the basement rolling into a ball. And he would take the peanut butter and he would dip it in the chocolate and then they would roll it in tinfoil. Mm-hmm. And the amazing part is the kids would go sell it to the people coming out of the Hershey factory. Mm-hmm. And the Hershey oh, would come out. Right. So, you know, he didn't have any problem with it because it was, everybody was using his chocolates. I mean, Bill Hershey was about selling chocolate. Right. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, it was all, it was all good. Uh, I mean, and of course, you know, my grandfather probably was different than a lot of things that my grandfather did is he did everything on consignment. So he had to float it all. To oh. All Whoa. So he was putting money out there and didn't get paid. He was a risk taker. So, so, so to all you guys that's tuning in and watching this, all you entrepreneurs out there, one of the main lessons that I'm learning, uh-huh. I, I already know this, but the reinforcement, because sometimes you, you, you know you question and you need that wisdom, is that you have to do the work. You have to. You know, if, if you put in that work, because all throughout everything you're showing me from the pictures to the stories. The main thing that I'm seeing, Andrew, is the ambition and the integrity is very high. Mm-hmm. To have that many children in the house and to have to get through wars and depression and stick together and, stick together and have one, you said you had one bathroom <laughs> with all those kids, <laughs> that by itself, we need to learn how to do that. Because I mean, you know, we've been in those situations. One bathroom, man, you know. And we know peanut butter sticks in your stomach. <laughs> 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 around the house, you know, there's probably a nice big chore list of what everybody had to do. But right. I remember stories about, you know, people talking how you come home, you'd have a smoked bread and cookies and different things. So there was always stuff cooking somewhere. Um, and, of course, you know, the kids in the neighborhood would uh, play games outside the factory and they'd do wow. things. Baseball into the factory and act like they were running in to get their baseball. But what they were doing, going in there getting 
<laughs> right. A lot, of, a lot of things like that. But wow. I can tell it back then and the structure and the cleanness of everybody and stuff. Yeah, the uniforms. Yeah, because the they have you know what was deep white with chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> they have on white uniforms while making chocolate and peanut butter says a lot about the cleanliness of mm -hmm. your company. And wow, that's yeah, that's heavy, man. Like no chocolate today at McDonald's, they have. You know, the McDonald's colors is not even pure white. And they be having ketchup, mustard, <laughs> <laughs> pickle juice. It's not looking that clean. Man. You guys had chocolate. Okay. Yeah, that's what I really like about those pictures. As you look, you see the cleanliness. is how clean everything was. How yeah. clean it was. Uh, I know that's what I'm saying. It's eye-opening. Right? Yeah. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know, if you ever watch the movies from the days of um, back in the 20s and everything, Right. Yeah. Uh, to me, it's amazing when you look at it. Everybody back then had suits, you know, three piece suits. They mm -hmm. had ties. They all had hats. <laughs> yeah. You don't see that anymore. No. 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 You no, just don't. Kind of laid back, kind of different dress, different yeah. style. Yeah. Kind of, but they were very, you know, prim and proper. And they had a, a dress dapper. Like yeah, they were very right. da dapper. Yeah. 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 Right. So, so in the summertime, you would switch operations from doing the peanut butter cups to something like uh, doing candy for vegetables and stuff like that. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so there's... So the season change, they had to change just with the season. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then there's uh, things that as you're going through the factory, you got to upgrade things, come up with... So he stay uh, having to solve issues and problems and stuff and... Yeah. Brad said that he would be tired and fall right to sleep when you he get home on the couch because he would be so tired on his favorite chair. And he said he said that he believed in he said that H. B. Reese believed in himself when others don't didn't. Mm -hmm. So, can you elaborate on that? Like what? Evidently, people didn't believe he was gonna do it. Like, cause think about it, to try yeah, to tell someone. Say I don't know if he had that thought. Did he have the thought of saying you know? I'm going to be the largest uh, at the top. I'm going to be in the Candy Hall of Fame. You know, did he? Uh, you know, he, he was a very humble kind of guy. So, you know, outside the house. Here, let me show you a picture of Candy Hall of Fame. 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 Candy Skyline Top. That's with the Reese cup on the top. Correct. <laughs> Look at that. That is crazy. Oh wow. You see it up there. That is large. Yeah, I see it up there at the top. That's crazy. I didn't even know it was a Reese cup. Is Reese the Nike of candy? <laughs> so this, <laughs> this, this is the uh, first major factory. This is 